Hi, welcome to tutorial. Today we are going to discuss the topic uniform and non-uniform motion. So on the screen you can see a table in which there are three columns. Time, distance traveled by object A in meters, distance traveled by object B in meters. So first, uh, before filling the table, what we'll do is I'll tell you about the time period, how you find this time. So here in the first case, you can see the initial time as 9.30 and the final time as 9.45. So you subtract the final with the initial and you'll get the time. So that will be 15. And uh, as I've been telling you uh, from my previous classes, you never forget the unit. So it would be in minutes. Now, uh, similarly, in the next case, we will have 15 minutes, 15 minutes, then again it's 15 minutes, then again it is 15 minutes, then again it is 15 minutes. So I can see, I see that there are equal intervals of time mentioned here. For object A, for first 15 minutes, the distance that is covered by it is 10 meters. Now since meter has already been mentioned here, so I will not be mentioning the meters along with the magnitude here. For the next 15 minutes, I again have it as 10 meters, then again 10 meters, again 10 meters, again 10 meters, and again 10 meters. So I can say that object A is traveling equal distance, that is of 10 meters, in equal interval of time, that is 15 meters. Such kind of motion is known as uniform motion. Now what you need to remember is that both of these motions are taking place in a straight line. And that's it. You need to understand that it's in a straight line and keep care of that. Whenever a question is asked, if the motion is uniform or non-uniform, first you need to see whether the path is straight line or it's a curve. Now next for object B. So I can say that the, this is a case of uniform motion. Now distance traveled by object B in first 15 minutes, it is 7 meters. In next 15 minutes, it is 4 meters. In next 15 minutes, it is 12 meters. In next it is 2 meters and so on. So I can say that it is co uh, traveling or covering unequal distance in equal intervals of time and this kind of motion is known as non-uniform motion. So this motion is also there on the straight path. Both of them are. Let's see our answers. I hope this is the answer which we all get, got. Now if a body covers equal distances in equal interval, interval of time it is said to be in uniform motion such as object A. If a body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time, it is said to be non-uniform motion, such as object B. I hope this much is clear to you. This is most, the more major thing that you need to remember in this is that it's occurring on a straight path first and second, there is equal distance here and unequal distance here. Now next, let's solve a question. So on a screen, you can see a car that is moving. If we have had a stopwatch in our hand, we would see that Number one, it's tra uh, traveling on a straight path. Number two, it is covering equal intervals, that is equal distance. Number three, in equal interval of time. So it is satisfying all the three conditions required for the uniform motion. Hence, the motion that is shown here is a uniform motion. I hope the topic is clear to you. Please do stay tuned in. If you need to understand more topics of the same chapter or other chapters, please log on to the site tutelf.com. Check our next episode for the chapter. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a nice day.